For this every minute on the minute sequence, we're gonna be performing two exercises. The first is gonna be a skeeter curl, the second is an alternating bent over row. You're gonna use the same dumbbell for both exercises with your skeeter curl. Ultimately, it's just a little hinge to hips, hinge back, drive up one, hinge back, up two, hinge back, up three, just like so. You'll notice how as I go, I get a little bit of momentum. I tend not to use very heavy dumbbells for this. I just wanna get a good burn going through the arms, especially with arms, especially as we have these two exercises back and forth with a little bit of rest. But the biggest thing is I feel that pop through the hips, drive up. I don't extend back. I just bring the dumbbells up to my shoulders like so, and then bring them back down. When I'm done my skier curls, with those same dumbbells, I'm gonna hinge forward, and I'm gonna alternate rows. So we got a 45 degree angle here, and it's up, one, up, two, up, three. You'll notice a few things as I'm performing this exercise. I'm always looking straight forward. I got my ch uh, chest upright, so that I got a nice flat back position, and then from there, I pull the elbow right into my hip. Ideally, where you wanna be is around a 60 degree angle, so you wanna be down like so. You don't wanna be up too high. You don't wanna be pulling into your neck. You wanna feel that good scapular retraction as you pull back and sort of lock that humerus right into your rib cage. What you're gonna do is you perform all a certain timer, perform all of your skier curls for the number of reps, all of your bent over rows. Whatever time you have left for in that minute, you rest for, and then you repeat the sequence every minute on the minute for the amount of rounds we've got.